You want to know what I believe? I'll tell you what I believe. I was there when JFK got his first look at those U-2 photos. The CIA is the eyes and ears of this country. And what we see isn't always pretty. Things never change. Murders are still running countries. Armies are still massing at borders. People are still dying. Some things the president shouldn't know. For a politician, ignorance can be the key to survival. So the facts might be flexible. Maybe it's not all black and white. The job never changes. We're on the front lines, deep inside an Asian jungle, at 30,000 miles above Russia's nuclear arsenal. In the end, it's all about human assets. There'll always be an older James. The best you can do is to treat your people right and watch every move they make. Kipling called it the great game. Just remember one thing. Everything you know could be a lie. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to Interlink. Your personal digital assistant provides access to four critical services. Data link your connection to other government agencies. News link access to the latest news. Web link your gateway to the online world. And com link a mailbox and archive for secure communications. For details, use the help button. You have a message waiting. Click the com link button to receive messages. Warhurst, we've got a situation. We're building the team. Meet me at Langley in the lobby. Let's get started. You all know Bruce Jeffries. We brought him back for this mission. People, this is serious. Gene and I have chosen Jeffries to run this op. He's drafted David Holt from the DI and Jamie Seaton from ST as in house support. He's also going to need a dependable operative in the field, which is why you're all here. Lang, Asai, 
Parker and Thorne. Now, Gene promises me you're the best of the new crop. Now you've got to keep that promise. I'll make sure one of them does. I want you all at the farm at 0600. Bruce has designed your regiment. Top performer gets the mission and reports back here for the full briefing. Good luck. shortly. I just wanted to thank you for resolving those LOS issues on the IR sighting. Mr. Hanlon will be pleased that we're going to meet our milestones. was the last guy from Ops to make it to the top. Dying breed. Sorry I'm late. Been one of those days. Name's Frank Milkowski, Director of Training. Got the other three started. Now it's your turn. Bruce wants me to start you with image analysis. I've got to attend to something, but if you follow the signs down the hall, I'll meet you there. Russian presidential candidate Fyodor Dubansky was killed today at the hands of an assassin. Dubansky was well ahead in the polls as of last week. The Russian media has raised the specter of mafia involvement. Dubansky's closest rival, current President Alexander Polyakov, will soon be meeting with President Charles Brooks to sign the long-awaited N Treaty, which will essentially dismantle Soviet nuclear capability. This is the latest in image analysis equipment. If a picture's worth a thousand words, these puppies will give you war and peace. Get somebody's license plate, cross-check their face. Hell, you can even see if they're an any or an Audi. What we have here is a series of puzzles. You've got a couple of surveillance images, and I've got a couple of questions. Use the image analysis tools and your noggin, and we'll see how you stack up against the others. Entering National Photographic Interpretation Center. Okay, this aerial shows a ranch house where some Mexican drug smugglers are having a little summit. Use the zoom and the OCE to enhance the text on that brown sedan's license plate. It should be one of our DEA boys who sold out to the bad guys. Opening email gateway. Message sent. Holy cow. 
You smoked that one. Damn. The side did near perfect, but you did even better. Bruce is gonna be real proud. Two kinds of images here. The first one's a sat shot of a Syrian military base in the Becca Valley. Second's an infrared of the same place. Use the overlay to see how many tanks have their engines running. Select images to overlay. Image 1 and 2 blended. Opening email gateway. Message sent. Nice job. Maybe you'll make the wall of fame. This is a new gadget from S&T. Very sexy. If someone smashes the unit or steals the film. There's a chip in here that stores low-res backups. Downright sneaky, huh? We've got a camcorder in the works, but I'm not sure they've worked out the bugs. All right, time to get serious. Dead serious. I want you to head out to the zone. Bruce and I will meet you there. Okay, basic stuff. There's a squadron of men down there with one mission, to drop you. Shoot or be shot. Got it? Best operatives rarely need to fire a weapon. When they do, it's just once. You miss, you die. Here's your piece. Standard field sidearm modified to shoot a laser pulse. Try these new target tracking combat goggles. They track targets, isolate buildings, even generate real-time range readings. Use them to gain a tactical advantage. It's the only advantage you'll have. Remember, Thorn, targets are always hard. So use the double tap. Chest first to drop them, then the kill shot, right between the eyes. Forget headshots, kid. I've seen point blank hits penetrate, curve around the skull, and shoot out the other side. When you want the kill, you go for the throat. I stand corrected. Now, make me proud out there. Okay, Thorn, earpiece is up. Here's what you've got to do. Get across the zone, and fast. See the display on your right? That's an overhead view, courtesy of our satellites. The light blue marker is you. The enemy is either red or yellow, depending on how dangerous he is. If he can see you, he's red. If you're not in his line of sight, then he's yellow. Now, green areas are vegetation. Use those for cover. Brown areas are elevation where the snipers live. The black area is open country. Get in there, and you're asking for it. detected. 
Not bad. Yeah, but I still wouldn't want you covering me in a crunch. All right, you're ready to move on. I've placed a radio beacon in the arena. Your job is to locate, acquire, and return. Use the sat tracking and your goggles to locate the beacon. One more thing. It's not just some bogey out there. Our buddy Bruce is suiting up. He likes to test his people, personally. You've got 30 seconds. Then I set him loose. I suggest you budget your time wisely. Pay attention, Thorn. When you're close to that beacon, you'll start hearing it. Hostile detected. So I cheated. There's no rules in the field, kid. Just because. Sniper, sniper, shoot around the hill. We got a man down. There was nothing you could have done, kid. The sniper who took Bruce down was the best I've ever seen. Don't let him shake you. The company lost a great one today. Bruce Jeffries would have made us proud. He would have made them forget the traitors and the sellouts, those damn shootings in front of our gates. Bruce Jeffries would have given us back our good name. But now, now it's up to you, Thorn. You made it in here, you can make it out there. Settle the score. Case Officer Thorn. Welcome to Interlink. Without Jeffries, you're running this mission. Get to Sterling's office pronto. Another disaster for the agency. We can't afford this after Ames, and we certainly can't expect Sterling's help. Remember, he's a presidential appointee, not a company man. Nothing is going to be, nothing is going to prove it to you more than what I'm going to show you soon. Afternoon. Unavoidable, sir. Thorn. Bruce was impressed with your performance, so I've decided that you'll handle the primary investigation, the one he was supposed to run. We found the weapon used in Bruce's killing, custom-modified 30 6 with optical scope. No prints. Nothing. I put Lang on it. Parker and Asai will follow up on other leads. Jamie and David will be your internal support. The team will pool all its intel. I've also set up a back channel for private communications. Okay, here's the story. Two weeks ago, the agency received intelligence from a well-placed source in Moscow codenamed Birdsong. He predicted two assassinations. The first one, Fyodor Dubansky, a right-wing candidate for the Russian presidency. The second, our own president. 
Now, this intel was initially classified as B minus, unreliable, and we didn't act on it. Here's B minus. With the Bansky death, Russian President Polyakov faces serious competition in his re-election bid. Arkady Trebanov, an entrepreneur turned politician, will now get the conservative vote and build a coalition that can vote him into office. Okay, Birdsong's intel is now A+. Plus which means the president is in real danger. President Brooks is planning a high-profile visit to Russia. He's going to sign a denuke treaty, the first one with real teeth. He wants to give Polyakov a boost. Yes, but if this situation doesn't cool, I'll have to talk to the president about postponing. And that is a conversation I do not want to have. Now, Thorne, I want you to meet with this birdsong and find out exactly what else he knows. We can only reach birdsong through dead drops. No face-to-face -face meetings. It'll take time. Well, you're gonna have to do better. I want any information Birdsong has ASAP. You put a lot of good people in danger. Danger's what they do, isn't it? Why don't we analyze the video first? See if there are any additional clues, like who pulled the trigger. I don't care however you proceed. Just get me answers and fast. Now this is my ass on the line. Well, we have our orders. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to Interlink. The view window displays the virtual camera's perspective. The blue area is the camera's range of sight. Zoom functions are available on both the camera and the 3D model. Use the zoom to isolate impact points and bullet holes. Connect bullet holes with the trajectory pointer. The Kennedy assassination tools will complete a trajectory. Isolate the origin point of the trajectory and locate the assassin. File accessed, Dubansky assassination, compartment level, critic. Building crime scene model, Red Square, Moscow, local time, 11.13 a.m. Linking to Office of Information Resources.
Mix and match system initialized. Searching. Match found. Phillips, Thomas Jefferson. Opening email gateway. Message sent. Case Officer Thorne, welcome. Saw your notes on harmonica. He was the best damn weapons op I ever saw. Take out a target with a rusty spoon if he had to. A real perfectionist. He did the job you never get commendations for, if you catch my meaning. Harmonica's one of the few who could have made that hit on Jeffries. You better watch your back. Hey, Thorne. I'm on my way out. Need to brush up on my skills at the farm. But I just want to say, excellent job on the cat. I zap the harmonica stuff to Parker, Asai, and Lang. That ought to keep them busy. Unless you find him first. Of course, there's something else on your docket. Max Foster, who runs our Moscow station, just called me. She says the assassination scene is a zoo. They can't even find the bullet that killed Dubansky. I'm betting harmonica used a stealth projectile, one that doesn't leave a trace. Also, not one witness reported hearing a shot. Even people in Dealey Plaza heard shots. Warhurst had me open a compartment called Pinpoint. It's all about stealth projectiles, and it's on the workstation in your office. Use the IA to figure out what kind of bullet was involved. Then we'll know which weapon harmonica used. Good luck. Welcome to s and &T. Clearance confirmed. Compartment pinpoint accessed by Case Officer Thorne. Opening email gateway. Message sent. Thorn, that's not the projectile. It doesn't add up. Check your facts and try again. Welcome to s and &T. Clearance confirmed. Compartment pinpoint accessed by Case Officer Thorn.
Welcome to S and Clearance confirmed. Compart Opening email gateway. Message sent. Thorne, I saw your analysis of the video. Harmonica was one of our top paramilitary ops. He left the agency about two years ago. I don't know how the hell he got the peg. We'd better meet with Sterling. Jean told me about Harmonica and the peg. Things just keep getting worse. An ex-agency man uses an agency weapon to assassinate a Russian political figure? Even I wouldn't believe that we had nothing to do with it. Harmonica couldn't have stolen one of our pegs without help from the inside. It is one of our most secret programs. At this point, tracking down that peg may be our best lead to Harmonica. Somehow, the peg moved from a CIA facility out into the field. Well, let's find that peg, and let's find this harmonica. This is a goddamn political minefield. Oh, and don't forget about Birdsong. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to Interlink. It hasn't been that long since we completed the PEG ourselves, and our intel puts us years ahead of anyone else in electric gun technology. We built the whole thing in-house at the InfoSci facility. There wasn't even outsourcing for components. I put up a link to the security database for InfoSci. Check it out. Maybe the thief left us a clue. All right, Thorne. Jamie told me she called up a security model on the InfoScience company. We've been using these since the Aldridge Ames mess. People figured we should have known he was a bad apple because his work habits were irregular. So now everyone keeps tabs on everybody. Thorne, you've got to get to know these InfoSci people. They're the only four who had access to that weapon. Security breaches don't just happen. You'll have links to phone taps, security camera photos, voice recognition, even elevator records. Hopefully our thief left some footprints. Or voice prints. Good luck. Benton, Lieutenant Warren T. Cohen, Dr. Darren M. 
Magruder, Dr. Kate. Sung, Dr. Lee Tay. Security model online. To display suspicious activity, click a subject's icon. Cohen, Dr. Darren M. For personal information, click the folder icon. Other icons display surveillance data. Calls from unknown locations have been recorded. Locate point of origin and analyze source audio. Darren Cohen. Well, hello there, Darren Cohen. Did I give you this number? <laughs> you did a lot of things last night. Oh, yeah, well, I suppose I... Uh... Is there a problem? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Uh, no, not at all. Good. So, I was thinking... Yes? Maybe we should hook up yet. Well, hooking up is good, but... And since Saturday seems to be your night to shine... Oh. <coughs> Please, really. I mean, I mean that. How about I, this weekend? Uh, I promise to wear nothing but a lab coat. Why don't I remember giving you this number? You're not interested. Oh, oh no. I mean, I mean, I mean, no, 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 no. It's it, well, it's just that Betty will be in town. And then we'll do it some other time. Yeah, well, uh, sooner is good. Sooner than you think. Irregular elevator use has been documented. Laboratory access recorded. Removal of InfoScience components has also been documented. Off-hours building access has been documented. The surveillance is available for analysis. Searching. Match found. Federal Bureau of Investigation accessed.
Opening email gateway. Message sent. Darren Cohen. Well, hello there, Darren Cohen. Did I give you this number? <laughs> Searching. Darren Cohen. Well, hello. Hello there, Darren Cohen. What? Did I give you this number? <laughs> you did a lot of things last night. Oh, yeah, well, I suppose I... Uh, Is there a problem? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, no, not at all. Good. So, I was thinking... Yes? Maybe we should hook up yet. Hooking up is good, but... And since Saturday seems to be your night to shine... Oh, <coughs> please. Really. I mean, I mean, that's... How about this weekend? Uh, I promise to wear nothing but a lab coat. Why don't I remember giving you this number? You're not interested? Oh, oh no. I mean, I mean, no, 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 no. It's, it, well, it's just that Betty will be in town. And then we'll do it some other time. Yeah, well, uh, sooner is good. Sooner than you think. Are you there? You left the signal, not me. I know, I know. This line is secure, right? Of course. Go ahead. I left the signal because I can't continue this relationship. I've been disloyal to my commandments and I feel like I've been manipulated. That's not all, is it? No. I've discovered new opportunities. Why should that end our arrangement? This is different. I found a new player. Actually, he found me, but either way, he runs a different kind of organization. We're operatives for hire. I have more responsibility, more freedom. Freedom is relative. Now, you people are all the same. You can never see two miles past Langley. <sighs> Don't you understand? This world doesn't revolve around everything you do. Of course it does. This isn't a joke. I'm out. Everything is changing, and I don't know the rules of the game anymore. I'm making my own now, not to mention my own paycheck. So you're back to Shanghai? I don't know. I might have an assignment there. I see. Goodbye. Opening email gateway. Message sent.
Darren Cohen. Hi. Oh, uh, yes. Hello. Uh, I believe we were discussing Saturday. No. Friday, late. Late, yeah. Th that could be arranged. You know, Betty's... <laughs> She's out of town. Well, actually, yes, she is. I I'll be working on this infrared. Y you really shouldn't call me here. Then I'll hang up. See you tomorrow night. Uh, goodbye. Searching. Opening email gateway. Message sent. Thorn, it's Warhurst. I spoke with Jamie, so it took two operatives to steal the peg. Amazing. I can't imagine that pair working for anyone except profit. No word on the ex-FBI man Wayne Allen, but our friends at the Bureau will no doubt be hunting down Ying Chung Wang. Nice work. We'll talk after we've acquired her. That's all. Sorry about the theatrics, but under the circumstances, they were necessary. Um. I'm sure you recognize Bill Colby, one of my predecessors at Langley. I've heard a lot about you, Thorne. I've kept Bill up to date on your progress. Impressive, so far. Your success is why we brought you here. You've got a problem at the agency. Harmonica couldn't have known about the peg. We developed it after he left. And that means that someone within the agency is leaking to somebody hostile. And that somebody can waltz right into one of our most secure installations and make off with a highly classified weapon. A mole. One that could be more damning than Ames. I know your slate is full, Thorne, but we need you. And if you're successful, you can write your own ticket. I'll add Bill to the communications loop. Direct all of your thoughts on the mole to him. He'll keep Peter and me up to date. Otherwise, chain of command remains. I don't want any of this getting out. Understood? If this mole is as deep as it looks, the agency is history. Case Officer Thorne, welcome. just as the feds got there. She killed an agent, got away clean. They're putting the intel from the scene together right now. I'll have it sent to your office. There are several reasons people betray their country, and some of them are better than others. I'd look for certain personality traits when I was recruiting. The people looking to upgrade their lifestyles are always a risk. They'll take money, sex, and whatever else you can give them, but usually they'll leave a trail and get caught. Ames was an upgrader, and we caught him. That's why I always look for the ideologues. They're the gems. They truly believe they're doing the right thing. And if they're good, their motivations are personal and invisible. track down Ying. Now, I'm getting buried here, and it's a big planet we live on, so I'm hoping you can turn up some clues on your own, because tonight I've got a private life to attend to. Hi, 
Thorn. DDO's office asked me to tell you the stuff from Rockland is in your office. It looks like Ying was passing codes, probably veals. I'll send you some cipher tools and a brief synopsis on codes. Link established to National Security Agency. Decryption successful. Opening email gateway. Message sent. Got a present for you. We have confirmed that Ying is in Moscow. A Psy is heading up a team to take her down. Now Max Foster will be calling you to let you know how it goes. But just in case, I'm going to send you some tools for planning interrogations. We may want to leverage her relationship with Grendel to get her to talk. Photo doctoring tool enabled. Power play compartment accessed. Federal Bureau of Investigation accessed.
I'm Max Foster. I run the safe house here in Moscow. I've got Ying. Come deal with her soon. I have to ship her back to the States. Hey, kid. Heard you snatched the peg thief. There's something in the Moscow safe house that you should know about. It's an interrogation device left over from the Cold War. They've got it stored in a place they call the bullpen. You won't like it much, but it gets the job done, and most people survive the ordeal. Photo doctoring tool enabled. It's Warhurst. 
Listen, I know Milkovsky may have recommended some, how can I put this, extreme measure to get information from Ying. There's something called the Geneva Convention, Thorne, and we'd like to abide by it. Simply put, what you're considering is illegal, and I don't want the D.O. mixed up in it. Let's not get dirty on this one. Case Officer Thorne, welcome. Just pulled Harmonica's passport from UK Immigration. Harmonica's in Moscow. Watch your backside. Downloading National Intelligence Daily. Sources in Moscow say there was a break-in at a nuclear facility north of the city sometime in the past several days. Russian military officials confirmed the break-in, but deny that nuclear materials may have been taken. Intelligence sources suspect Russian Mafia involvement. Russian black marketeers, in league with the thriving Russian Mafia, frequently steal food and medical supplies for resale to a beleaguered public. It now appears they are moving into the more lucrative arms business. President Brooks is readying for a trip to Moscow in a few days to sign the end treaty with Russian President Alexander Polyakov. Many see the end treaties as a welcome relief to the Russian nuclear arms problem. Alexander Polyakov welcomes the joint denuclearization policy. Others, such as presidential candidate Arkady Trebanov, see the treaty as a weakening of Russian might. Trebanov said, it is an outrage that Russia's own president will sign away Russian security for a few dollars, and the Russian people must not let Polyakov auction away their strength to the highest bidder. President Brooks' visit to Russia will include a tour of Moscow, a presidential gala, and, to quote President Brooks himself, a few days of R&R. Hi, I'm Max Foster. We have Ying in the interrogation chamber downstairs. She's waiting for you. I hope you get the information you need. Give me a call in the intercom if you need anything.
I'm listening. What are my choices? I'm listening. I'm listening. What do you want to know? I've done some contract work for a group called ProCat. It's a paycheck. A big paycheck. I don't know anything else. I was to steal and deliver the peg to Felix Scotty in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. He's a real jerk. He tried to kiss me. I nearly killed him. Now I may have. I don't know anything else. I told you, I don't know anything more. Can I go now? Case Officer Thorne. Controlled access authenticated. Power play compartment accessed. Linking to Office of Information Resources. Archives are available. Federal Bureau of Investigation accessed. Phillips, Thomas Jefferson. Melnikov. Nikolai. Level Critic.
Kinsey, Pierre. It's Warhurst. Jamie has patched us into the image database so that I can talk you through this. We just received these from the ATF. Those people had no leads until you captured Ying. This is where the peg fell into Scotty's hands, and probably Harmonica's. Abandoned warehouse in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. That's Felix Scotty, the arms dealer Ying told you about. Been a heroin broker and a money launderer, but gun running is his first love. His buyers usually end up like this. The ATF has been watching Scotty for months, but he slipped away after this deal went sour. Thorn, I'm afraid that's not the half of it. Scotty killed these men without firing a shot. Marco Fabrizi, apparently the middleman. He and his partners all died of massive coronary arrest. At least that's what the medical examiner says. And there were no bullets or bullet holes to be found. Nothing. I realize it sounds impossible, but you already know about silent kills. This new weapon gets the same results with no projectile at all. Looks like he rested it there. And use this for power. Check your ATF web link for a report from the lead agent. He says there was a... Let's see here. Uh, ah, a concentrated high-frequency burst at the scene before they moved in. Scotty escaped here. He was killed later, just outside Minsk. Thorn, this new weapon is out there, probably in Harmonica's hands. I don't need to tell you what that means. I've circulated these pictures via Interpol and the State Department. Right now, Harmonica is the most wanted man in the world. Good luck out there. Access granted. This is where we stand. We've eliminated most of the low-level agency employees from the list of possible moles. But that's not surprising. Our mole has access, directly or otherwise, to high-level information. I'll keep you informed. Gene Warhurst told me you're poking into the Russian Mafia. You want to talk to Yuri Gromchesky. He's with the SVR. Yuri works with the SVR's Mafia Crimes Unit. He'll help with your investigation of the Russian Mafia's involvement in the peg theft. I sent him a copy of the image you grabbed of the assassin. He's looking into it. Kaluzhba Venyeshne Razvadaki. It's the new name for Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service. 
I'll shoot Yuri's number to your PDA. You can call him from your office. We've had Birdsong investigating the Mafia because we want to keep an eye on their efforts to recruit Russian scientists. They're starting to deal in technical secrets, and we'd like to keep track of what they're selling and to whom. The problem is, he's a scientist, not a spy, and they're on to him. They want him to prove his loyalty. Kill a man. Local Mafia thug. They've even tried to give him a gun. He says he can get more information about the president's hit. I set a meeting. It's not standard operating procedure, but we don't have a choice. He reluctantly agreed to meet in his apartment. <laughs> the only place he feels safe these days. Case Officer Thorne. sent me to bring in Melnikov, MI6 sent John Blake to take him out. Too bad nobody clued me in. I tracked down Melnikov and then Blake killed him. After Paul Print, I moved from operations to intelligence. Sure, the work's boring, but here backstabbing is only figurative. Now I still get to play in the game, but I no longer have to blindly follow orders. Without Melnikov calling the shots, Procat wouldn't even exist. Of course, you could ask Blake what he thinks, but be warned. He's a freak. Some upper-class hipster doing wet work for MI6. In the end, he wasn't cut out for this kind of work. I'm told he still sees Melnikov's ghosts. Scares the pants off him, and it serves him right. here. Hello, Thorn. I'm expecting your call. Yes, I have received photo from Foster. You have called the right man. Come over any time. My office is in Yasenevo. Hello. You must be Thorne of the CIA. It is my pleasure to meet you. My general has had talks with your Mr. Sterling about the Dubansky incident, and he is satisfied that it was, as you say, a former agent acting alone. I am a good soldier, so I must also be satisfied. How can I be of assistance? Yes, they are Mafia. Perhaps they are Chechen or Ngoshi, but I'm not sure. But I know who can tell. 
kas vadinko Ljogen, amerikanskas džijas. Zagadīči, pažalst, aš nebūju jau strēčīt. O, jūs, privēt, kā tu dvēs? Oleka Ljogen, this is Thorne of the CIA. O, it's very nice to meet you, Thorne. Oleka, did you happen to know the two men in the background of this photograph? Well, this uh, picture was obviously taken when Fyodor Dobrynsky was uh, assassinated. Yes. The one on the left uh, is called Ilya. Mm. He used to be called the Hammer. Oh, yes. He was the one who was shot in the head by one of his henchmen over a pair of blue jeans. That's right. Over the pair of blue jeans. Can you imagine? Yes. Well, the other one is Uzbek. Uh, I do not know him by name. Sorry. Thank you. Спасибо за эту встречу. Спасибо тоже. Рад видеться. Надеюсь, мы посвящаемся с Даниэлой скоро. Он спросил, ведь меня тоже само дело. Суббота? Окей, суббота. До свидания. До свидания. Хорошо. has grown fat on the milk of two cows, drugs and corruption. Last year, Soviet republics shipped drugs worth 11.5 billion US dollars, virtually all of which shipped to Western Europe and your states. Most of all of these drugs were shipped through Russia and her own web of organized crime clans. I wish it were. The drug trade has fueled extraordinary growth in organized crime. There are now 5,000 gangs operating across the country, controlling 40,000 private enterprises, including 8 out of 10 shops, depots, and hotels in Moscow. This corruption has crept even into our government, and that is why I am here, to find a new way to combat them. That is an understatement. The Mafia is everywhere these days. They are even behind one of the presidential candidates, Arkady Cherbanov. I have proof. In my heart, I have proof. I know Cherbanov has his hands in their pockets. I will get the proof. You have come to the right man. I will set up meeting. You will see for yourself. I will call you in at this time. It has been good to meet you, Thorne. I wish you didn't come here. They'll find out. I cannot. Do you know what I must do to get that information? They question my loyalty. They want me to kill a young mafioso to prove my loyalty. I cannot do this. How can you balance one man's life against another's? I will consider this. Now, please forgive me if I don't show you out. Good afternoon. Case Officer Thorne, what? Hold on to your breakfast. German TV is running this promo for a news story about a stolen nuclear weapon. I did some poking around in German intelligence and they say that it isn't as bad as it looks. The weapon's not actually functional. Someone removed the pen. The Germans like to think the sellers had enough conscience to hang on to the really dangerous stuff. I think I know better. They're selling it separately. Der Krieg ist vorbei. Die Welt ist vor einer atomaren Apokalypse sicher. Nein, 
In der nächsten no. Achtung Tomorrow werde ich next über action, mein neuestes Spielzeug genau informieren. Eine voll funktionsfähige Atombombe. Verfassen Sie es nicht. Morgen in Achtung. The State Department is trying to get as much information out of the Germans as they can, but they're being pretty tight-lipped. Back in Russia, this is a serious blow to Poliakov. Political is predicting a major shift in the polls. Zhirbanov should pass them within a few days. Case Officer Thorne. Kromchevsky here. My friend, you wanted to meet Chervinov? I have arranged it. Meet me alongside the Vilnius Center in one hour. Case Officer Thorne. I am looking at the photo of Parker. He is not the only one out of commission. Lang is MIA. I had to cut his PDA out of the loop in case he's been captured. Hate to say it, Thorne, but it's down to you and a sigh. Downloading National Intelligence Daily. Russian presidential candidate Arkady Chirbanov has been rising in the polls since the recent assassination of Fyodor Dubansky. President Brooks announced today that his upcoming journey to Moscow will be cut short due to an increasing workload at the Oval Office. The president will travel only long enough to join President Alexander Polyakov in signing the end treaty. President Brooks' approval rating reached an all-time low today. 74% of people surveyed believe he has not shown sufficient world leadership. And according to the polls, that doesn't sit well with the average American. Russian President Alexander Polyakov is being accused by supporters of presidential candidate Arkady Trubanov 
of using strong-arm tactics to push through the ratification of the end treaty. Polyakov recently revoked Parliament's ability to approve foreign treaties, something that most Russian political analysts say he is not empowered to do. Critics of Polyakov say he is actually backpedaling from democracy by signing this treaty with the United States. Polyakov made no public comment on the matter. Case Officer Thorn. I hated that bastard job enough. I told him I forgot our invitations. Dokinchayo, druzi moi, i do pitaisha of no zapetanya. Yaku, yake jitia budem. Cherbano, ipse do pitaisha. Trukis rovesi. Yaku rosiu budem ati. Menarova, es kampen manager. Arajo, nemke možda. Nemke možda. Judy Gromchevsky as he won your complex's dogs out at night. And who would this be? This is Thor. I wanted to show how deeply organized crime permeates Russia. I could think of no better place to start. The US. So you are. FBI, CIA. I welcome you to our fine country, Thorne. I hope Yuri here hasn't bored you with his talk of mafia conspiracy to defeat Poyakov. Oh, and how is Alexander this evening? A bit under the weather, I imagine. You are mad for power. You don't care if you drag Russia down to get it. You know the only way to win this election is to destroy your opponent's reputation and destroy their lives. Ah, Lina. Allow me to introduce Torn from the United States, who with Polyakov's task force on organized crime, uh, Kromchevsky, it is showing Torn around. So, the butcher has become a babysitter. <laughs> Terribly ironic. I think Yuri here has just accused me of having Dubinsky killed. <laughs> How dare you say such a thing? It is so like Polyakov. He begins to feel a little pressure and instantly he sends his militia and his Yankee cronies on the competition. This conversation is over. Please excuse me.
Case Officer Thorne. Welcome to Interlink. Link established to National Security Agency. Decryption successful. Link established to National Security Agency. Decryption successful. Opening email gateway. Message sent. Thorn, come into the alley. I must talk with you. I cannot be seen with you, but take this. It should be interesting reading. Things are not what they seem. Think. Who benefits most from Dubansky's death? Polyakov. And who are Polyakov's cronies? Things have not changed as much here as everyone thinks. The hammer and sickle still weighs heavily on our lives.
Sterling, Peter Reed. Holt, David Marcus. Two o one files accessed. Level routine. Seaton, Jamie Ann. Opening email gateway. Message sent. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to Interlink. Controlled access authenticate. Welcome to the Central Intelligence Agency. Powerplay compartment accessed. Linking to Office of Information Resources. Archives are available. Level, Critic. John Blake here. Yes, Thorne. How can I be of assistance? Oh, Cat, I thought the agency closed the books on them. Why the new interest? Thorne, are you? Ah, yes, David Holt, an excellent tracker. But alas, the boy lost his nerve at a key point in poor print. Nearly compromised the mission, I'm afraid. Really? Hmm. Let me guess. Korean woman known by several names. Marie Cho, Ying, Chong Wang, and Debbie Gibson come to mind. She's an acquisition specialist. Used to be with the Korean intelligence before Procat recruited her. I've quite a bit more data, but I can't share it over the phone. Any time would be fine. I'm at home more or less all day, except for the odd trip to town for groceries or a new musical release. I'd welcome a chance to chat. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to Interlink. How the hell could Blake know about Yang? My 
contacts at MI6 say he's out of touch. Let's check him out. Thorne, it's Max. I just got a call from Birdsong. He's running scared. I tried to reason with him, but he wants no part of us. I'll put Birdsong's dossier and the recording of the call up on Intel Link. Oh, and you want to check out his apartment for any clues. You'll be discreet, I'm sure. I'll keep you posted. Thanks, Thorne. Please, calm down. Okay, now, start again. Just from the beginning. I have left Moscow. It's too dangerous. What are you talking about? What happened? I can feel them getting closer. It is only a matter of time before they know. Relax, Birdsong. And how do you know that? You have me telling lies in all faces. I can tell the truth from lies no more. Everything is, is blurred. Let's meet as soon as possible. No! No more secret meetings. Now, please do not try to find me. Forgive me. Please, calm down. Calm down. Okay, now, start again. Start again. Just from the beginning. I have left, left Moscow. It's too dangerous. What are you talking about? What happened? I can feel them getting closer. It is only a matter of time before they know. Relax. Relax, Birdsong. Have me telling lies in all linking to National Reconnaissance Office. Dushanbe, Republic of Tajikistan, population 500,000. Novosibirsk, Russian Federation. Dushanbe,
Novosibirsk. Opening email gateway. Message sent. Good job finding Birdsong. I'll have some of my people pick him up. Thorn, <laughs> thank God I found you. Damn thing isn't working. I had to go by the safe house and see Max Foster. He said you'd be here. So, talk to me. Any new leads on ProCat? Case Officer Thorne, welcome to I'm in the back. Come on, I've been expecting you. Please, have a seat. I'd hoped this ProCat affair would stay in the distant past, where it belongs. I was working with the agency to take down Nikolai Melnikov. They called him the Butcher of Jehalabad because he terrorized the locals by putting bombs in children's toys. After Afghanistan, he turned capitalist and went on to form ProCat. You know, it means for hire in Russian. A bloody bastard. We had to do something. Now, if you'll excuse me for a moment, I'll gather that information I promised you.
Here you go. You'll need this more than I ever will. I call this my Encyclopedia Procat. A compendium of facts and figures and Procat activity, past and present. As far as I know, there are no more than a handful of spy mercenaries. Don't be fooled, though. They're all lethal in their individual ways. Everything I know about Procat is in this folio. I have several stored at strategic locations as a precaution. If only I could be sure that I put him in his grave. The car exploded, yes, but I had to withdraw once the device was planted and Six never confirmed the kill. Probably only a formality, but a professional likes to be thorough. If Melnikov isn't in his grave, don't you think he might come after the man who tried to put him there? The yellow pages are no mere academic exercise. Consider them a survival manual. Put them to good use during your investigation. Apparently, the new leader doesn't want to suffer Melnikov's fate. He's known only by his code name, Mirage. And that's exactly what the bugger is. No photographs, sightings, not even a bloody shadow. I'd wager even Procat members don't know who he is. Or her. No reason Mirage has to be a man. No, no. It was my pleasure. Case Officer Thorne. Welcome.
Case Officer Thorne. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to Interlink. Mission Directives for Case Officer Thorne. Linking to Office of Information Resources. Archives are available. Level, Critic. Case Officer Thorne. What? I found another set of build codes. These are in the news group rec.music.blues. It's a pair of messages from a Fred Vorble at Georgetown University. I checked them out. No such person. I managed to break Vorble's build codes. Listen up. One reads operative to London. The other operative to Moscow. Raven captured. This matches your travel itinerary. I smell it mold. Thorne, before you get too cozy with your fellow team members, keep in mind that where this mole is concerned, nobody is above suspicion.
Case Officer Thorne. Welcome to Interlink. Controlled access authenticated. Welcome to the Central Intelligence Agency. Power play compartment accessed. Opening email gateway. Message sent. Well, Thorn, nice work. Onyx is a clever one, but not clever enough for us. I'll try to track him down and follow up on the other leads. Is it possible to meet at my office? I have something to share with you. Case Officer Thorne. Good news. We found Bird's tongue. But I'm not sure he's going to cooperate. Right. Can't hurt. I'll let you know what happens. Here, this may be of use. Please do not ask where I got this. We're both professional. You need it, I have it. Even that is more than I should say. You must go now. I do not want to get caught here, together, with what you have in your hands. You have far more pressing problems, my friend. I suggest you keep your priorities straight. I have jeopardized my standing in SVR to help you. Do not make me regret it. Now please, I'm very busy. Case Officer Thorne.
Glad to see you've got a lead on the pit sale, Thorn. Good luck. Opening email gateway. Message sent. Please hold for the President of the United States. I appreciate your efforts concerning this assassination conspiracy, but I've just been briefed on this nuclear pit situation. Now, Pete Sterling and I agree that it must take precedence. He'll follow up with you shortly. The country's counting on you. God bless and good luck. Come in. Who are you that you know harmonics? Then you know I no longer deal with the company. I have no knowledge of such a transaction. It seems I have little choice. What do you want? The deal is at midnight tonight. We are to meet at the Scharfenstahl plant on the outskirts of town. I am to give them the password and they will give me the pet. French vanilla. Procat looks after its own. There will be back up there. I would not entertain thoughts of gunplay with them if I were you. They will be prepared for such actions. Oh, oh, oh. 
Thorn? It's Hulk. I'm standing in the control center at the National Reconnaissance Office. We've got you on GPS, thanks to the transmitter in your PDA. You are officially a mouse in a maze. Okay, this is what we call a shadow op. Get in there, grab the pit, and make it out in one piece. The Russians were nice enough to give us a tracking signature. The pit is the silver marker. Go for it. Listen, don't fire until you've reached the pit. Case Officer Thorne. Please hold for the President of the United States. Congratulations on a job well done. The country and the world owe you a debt of gratitude. And I'm still counting on you to nail this harpsichord character. Outstanding work, Thorne. No telling where this might have gone otherwise. I've explained the situation to the Chancellor. He'll have a team waiting at the airport. They'll pick up a bit. Now you can get back to the real mission. Harmonica. Case Officer Thorne, welcome. The guard I had covering Birdsong just turned up dead. His kneecaps were blown off. Now we can't find Birdsong. Whoever pulled the trigger must have him. Opening email gateway.
Message sent. Sorry, Thorn. That doesn't add up. Case Officer Thorn, welcome. Controlled access authentic. Welcome to the Central Intelligence Agency. Power play compartment accessed. 201 files accessed. Level routine. Foster, Maxine Marie. Pearson, Owen Arthur. Opening email gateway. Message sent. Good work finding kneecaps. I'll dispatch an assault team ASAP. I want this guy. Case Officer Thorn, welcome. You copy? Here's concept of operation. We go in, we exfiltrate Birdsong. Now, your display gives you a top-down view of this building, with a little help from a GPS satellite. Each of us is equipped. Send us a command, we work a special angle. I've got fiber optic viewing. My tool makes an opening, I spy a room from any adjacent wall or door. Sergeant Schiff carries some potent charges, clear passage in the walls. Aguila slices landlines, Washington handles the grenades. I'm running point, Schiff's rear security. But you can change order of movement. Now listen, Thorn. We're counting on you to get us through this without hostile contact. And remember, this is a shadow op. Let's avoid the local authorities. Some of us want to see our families again. Five, four, three, two, one. Execute! Execute! Execute!
Hey, Thorn. What kind of motion we got, over? Damn, I was afraid those scans might tip our hand. Roger, baby. Shit, you're gonna give us away, Thorn. Song Thorn, now we eat. I told you it was not safe. They called me to the meeting, and then knocked me over the head. They never even saw my contact. When I awoke here, they tortured me. They forced me to reveal information about our warheads. Prokhat already stole a bomb. They're mercenaries, people with no conscience. They plan to auction Russia's nuclear arsenal, bomb by bomb. This has been hell. Everyone has betrayed me, and I have betrayed everyone. I am so sorry. Now you must stop these people. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to... I found another communication from the mole. Pair of messages. One from Fred Vorbel, the others from a non-0629, an anonymous remailer in Finland. And whoever they are, they should know how to stay faceless on the deck. Anyway, I tried to code him. No go. Nothing else has paid off either. So if you have any ideas on the source, run it through the cipher tool. Link established to National Security Agency. Decryption successful. Link established to National Security Agency. Decryption successful. Thorn, I'm impressed. I think you've got our mold in a pickle. They used to call me the scout. I might have to pass the baton. But don't get cocky just yet. That longitude and latitude you decrypt from the mole message? It's Tunisia. Remote Tunisia. Near an old training ground for leftist guerrillas. Real pleasure zone. Watch your ass in there.
Okay, Thor, find that ball and I'll be back to pick you up. Rescue one out. Taking fire! Mayday! Mayday! This is Rescue LZ just lit up. Missile free! Missile free! Oh, man! Foreigner, you can't be foreigner. This is Rescue. Look, uh, someone down there just locked onto me with a missile. Cannot maintain orbit on station. Repeat, cannot maintain orbit on station. Unless you uh, take care of those bogeys yourself, uh, you'll be walking home. Uh, but I am retreating. Repeat, I am retreating. Rescue out. Hello, Thorn. You're taking it well. Expected to nab Mirage on the mole in one fell swoop, eh? It appears the agency's communications are not so secure, and I'd say you've rather fallen into my trap. Warning, you have entered hostile line of fire. Ow! Ow! the weapon, Thorn. Now the goggles. I'm eminently impressed. Those were some of my best hitters. Unfortunately, you'll never get a chance to stop the assassination. The game is over, and you lose. My contract with the Mafia is fulfilled. Bloody hell. Wait, Thorn. You need me. Look! Case Officer Thorn. Thorn, nice work with Blake. And don't worry, we'll take care of him. But I need you in Moscow now to stop Harmonica. You've got the best chance of making a positive ID. I've got a chopper headed your way. It'll take you to home plate where a hornet will bring you to Moscow. I'll meet you there. President Brooks and I are aboard Air Force One now. We'll be landing in a couple of hours. Roger that, Thorn. Uh, ETA Eisenhower in uh, 10 minutes. Whoever you are, 
I'm afraid your curiosity is going to cost you. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Goodbye. 30, 29, Downloading 28, progress. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Download eight, interrupted. 7, 6, 5. What the hell was that? Case Officer Thorne, welcome to... Link established to National Security Agency. Decryption successful. 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 Link established to National Security. I noticed you found a message from Blake to our target, the Mole. It seems ProCat can be run from anywhere in the world by anyone who's got his computer. Maybe you should run ProCat for a while. Roger Thorne, uh, carrier in sight. Congratulations, Thorne. President Brooks and I just landed ourselves. Now let's go aboard and see if we can't get him to see reason. Discussion is the better part of survival. Uh, Mr. President, I'd like you to meet Thorne. Well, welcome aboard. It's good to finally put a face to the name. Now, this denuke deal's been in the works for two years. If we don't get these Russian missiles tied up, they're going to be sold to the highest bidder. 
What's more, without this treaty, Polyakov certainly will lose the election. There must be some way to reason. Now, I appreciate the concern, but frankly, I don't see any alternative. Yes, but... No more buts. I let this treaty slide by, and tomorrow any two-bit dictator with enough cash will be pointing a missile at our front yard. I've whittled things down as much as I can. All I have to do is go up on that stage, speak for two minutes, sign the papers, and leave. I'm sure Thorne can get the job done. If not, the Secret Service will have to. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a speech to prepare. Listen, Thorne. This is where the rules of the game change. We're playing for big stakes, the biggest. These are the security maps of the ceremony site that you wanted. Do whatever you need to do. Hey, Thorne, are you there? It's me, Jamie. All the way from the States. Look, you shouldn't be surprised to hear me now. I've got this earpiece working like a charm. If we're gonna get a line on this harmonica character, you'll need help. Call up your PDA. Sometimes I even amaze myself. Welcome to Red Square, Officer Thorne. You're looking at it from a few miles up. Your PDA is also a GPS transmitter. We can track you anywhere on the globe. I've got our best birds honed on the square right now. See? That's you in green. Keep moving, and the GPS will track you. Those other blips are Secret Service agents. They're also equipped and patrolling their zones. But that's not all. I made sure the NRO boys patched us into their electronic surveillance sats. They'll isolate electronic signals in the area. Perfect. Okay, here's what you're seeing. The yellow flashing pulses are signals in the 0 to 250 megahertz range. The orange ones are 250 to 450, and the red, was there anything above 450 megahertz? I'm not sure which range we're looking for. I was hoping you'd have that intel. Isolate harmonica. Let's take them down. My people... This day is a day of great joy, for we are throwing off the oppressive shackles of our past, and we are ushering in a new age of Russian prosperity. No, the, the aging nuclear arsenal has been like a millstone grinding our economy, and now with our treaty, we take that millstone and we put it back in the mill. You know, Sakharov said once that you cannot put nuclear missile in the stew pot and you cannot use it to warm you on a cold winter night. And he was wrong. Today, we use these nuclear missiles to put food on the table, money in our pockets. Huh? This treaty is going to bring us investment and boost our economy and allow us to rebuild the industrial base and create a job. Thorn? I see the distinguished intelligence cross in your future. Harmonica's taken care of, but our asses are still on the line. We still need to know who hired Procat and ID this mole. I have to get back to President Brooks. He's a little shaken, but thankful. He gives you full authority to find the bastards behind this and put them out of business permanently. Case Officer Thorne, welcome to Interlink.
Lord, I just got off the phone with Yuri's boss. He's agreed to send him to Yalta for your meeting with the mole. Yuri's there to help you take care of business. Welcome, my friend. I have been briefed and I'm ready to do my part. I've torch cut the hinges and I've prepared the door. So, let's go. Forget the speech, Chervinov. The game is over. Then I'm glad you listened to the swans. The swans? The swans I left on Torrance's desk. I did not know I sold my soul to the devil. I could not live with myself if her plan came to fruition. Arkadia, what are you saying? How dare you play the victim? You set this in motion. No, she set this in motion. She is the one who hired Brokat. They were the only ones tough enough to be her own personal gauge. You, you fool. Don't move. I made you remember who you are betraying. Oh, how could I forget? A mafia, madam. And me, her... Her whore president. Shut up! Thorn, Yuri, I'll take control now. Drop it, Yuri. Drop it! Professionals, but you, you amateur, you almost pulled it off. You have to do something. Almost. Got it. What the hell are you talking about? I didn't hack anything. One. Thorn, I'm having a stroke. No! Well, I should not have been worried with marksmanship such as yours. The only thing you should be concerned about, Chervanov, is if your cellmate gets lonely. You can't arrest me. The people support me. Gordon, arrest me, and I promise you a bloody civil war. You've got to protect me. Please, look, I have given you the mark. intelligence community was rocked today by the news that CIA Deputy Director Eugene Warhurst was leaking classified information to an unnamed foreign power. Warhurst, who was killed yesterday in a shootout with CIA agents near the Crimean city of Yalta, had apparently been operating as a double agent for almost a year. According to our sources, Warhurst had recently fallen under suspicion due to the efforts of CIA agents assigned to investigate possible leaks. Former CIA director William Colby was in charge of the investigation, which eventually uncovered Warhurst. A oh, Thor, come on in. Have a seat. Congratulations. Even Bruce Jeffries couldn't have done a better job. I feel you deserve 
the agency's highest award. Oh, and there's one more thing. I figured you deserved a little RR. I trust two weeks in Fiji won't disagree with you. <laughs> Slide victory, Russians elected entrepreneur Arkady Chirbanov to be their next president. Although Chirbanov disagreed bitterly with former President Polyakov on issues of nuclear disarmament, he sounded a softer, more reasonable tone in his victory speech, promising to forge strong relationships with the U.S. that will benefit the security of both nations. Chirbanov also vowed to attack the swelling ranks of Russian organized crime which he called the most dangerous obstacle to Russian prosperity.
American intelligence community was rocked today by the news that CIA Deputy Director Eugene Warhurst was leaking classified information to an unnamed foreign power. Warhurst, who was killed yesterday in a shootout with CIA agents near the Crimean city of Yalta, had apparently been operating as a double agent for almost a year. According to our sources, Warhurst had recently fallen under suspicion due to the efforts of CIA agents assigned to investigate possible leaks. Former CIA Director William Colby was in charge of the investigation, which eventually uncovered Warhurst. A Thor, come on in. Have a seat. Congratulations. Even Bruce Jeffries couldn't have done a better job. I feel you deserve the agency's highest award. Oh, and there's one more thing. I figured you deserved a little R&R. &R. I trust two weeks in Fiji won't disagree with you. <laughs> Come in, Thorne. Take a seat. <laughs> well, you really put my ass on the line with this whole Churbanov problem, eh? No, but I can understand how things can get a bit confused in the field. Sometimes you're asked to do things you, you think are morally, what, ambiguous? And the only thing you've got to go on is your own code of honor, huh? Well, damn you and your coat, Thorn. You're fired. You are so fired that there's a smoking crater where you used to stand. Now get the hell out of here and don't you ever come back. Today, the Russian people voted for change. In a landslide victory, Russians elected entrepreneur Arkady Trubanov to be their next president. Although Turbanov disagreed bitterly with former President Polyakov on issues of nuclear disarmament, he sounded a softer, more reasonable tone in his victory speech, promising to forge strong relationships with the U.S. that will benefit the security of both nations. Turbanov also vowed to attack the swelling ranks of Russian organized crime, which he called the most dangerous obstacle to Russian prosperity. The Russian capital of Moscow has been placed under martial law as intense civil unrest grips the city. The rioting started after the arrest of presidential candidate Arkady Turbanov. Turbanov was linked to figures in the Russian criminal underworld and the assassination of leading presidential candidate Fyodor Dubansky several weeks ago. Some political analysts fear that a military coup may be in the offing, while others point to the possibility of civil war. And now, live from Capitol Hill, we have the Director of Central Intelligence, Peter Sterling, to get his views on today's events. Mr. Sterling, how do these events affect our nation's intelligence efforts? Well, Bernie, what we're seeing in world events today is something that hasn't happened. Oh my God! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've just been... Uh, I've just been told that a massive explosion uh, has hit our nation's capital, <clears throat> possibly a nuclear strike. God. Um, witnesses in Maryland are recording uh, some kind of large uh, fireball in the DC, over the DC 